tape yarns are really fun. The result is fun. But this yarn is not the easiest thing to knit with. It's slippery and it's hard to keep the stitches on your needle. Um, cotton and linen don't have scales like wool does. And so they're not going to want to kind of fuzz next to their neighbor. They're not going to want to stay together. If you were working with skeins of yarn, what I do with this to be really, really certain is I got thread and a sewing needle and I actually sew them to each other. So I would actually lay these two ends over each other. And I just go in and out and through. So I just go back, you know, kind of go through it. It's not to sew them super, you know, you're going to knit with both of these, these strands now, these two tails held together. It's to make them want to stay together. And so that's what this is doing. You're also going to knit with both of these strands right for a few stitches which is going to help this is just to keep them from coming apart so it doesn't have to be super super solid but just enough to convince those tails to stay together and so then i would just i would do the same thing kind of going back the other direction so then these two threads i would knot together but that's how i join it just feels a little bit more secure than just holding them together because they won't grip each other like wool does. They'll just want to slide past each other. And I do leave tails on the back of my knitting. If I were to trim those flush, it would look nicer on the back, but those little ends are going to constantly flip to the front. And if I leave a little bit of a tail, they're going to stay on the back of the sweater where I want them. And then you hope that it doesn't wind up front and center. And if it does, I may cut early and have to redo this. If it happens anywhere further down near a side marker or in the back, then I think it's fine. Yarns have to connect somewhere. I'm not that picky about, um, you know, if you see it on the side or on the back. This is the, the wrong side of the sweater. But if you were knitting along and that join happened front and center, that would not necessarily be good. It's just going to be a distraction. Um, but that's how I would join them. I knitted this entire sweater from a cone of yarn, so I didn't have individual skeins to join as I had to start new skeins. This is Wide Gima N100, and you can order it from her website, habutextiles.com, um, if your yarn shop doesn't carry it. And um, when you order it off of her website, just specify that you want it all on one cone. Um, this was six balls, and she just put it all in one cone for me, and that way I don't have to stop and start.